Welcome to Chris Cook for YouTube. Today I'm going to be doing crab cakes. This is a easy recipe. I think that you'll be able to follow along and do it exactly as I am doing it. Now I know that there's a lot of recipes for crab cakes. This is just the one that I use. So let's get started with the ingredients that you're going to need to make this dish. You're going to need crab meat and one pound of crab meat is for a serving of eight so you will need one pound of crab meat and the best is the lump crab so this is eight ounces and eight ounces that makes 16 ounces which is one pound you're going to need Worcestershire sauce you're going to need mustard you're going to need mayo Ritz crackers parsley you really need uh, fresh parsley, but I forgot to get some, so I'm going to go with dried parsley. You're going to need Old Bay seasonings, eggs, and you're going to need onion. Now, I'm going to go away and get myself prepared, but before I do, I need to tell you that a lot of times the ingredients that you see me use, I may use more ingredients than is listed in the at the bottom of the tutorial. The reason for that is because everybody that has been watching me know that I cook for a lot of people. So my ingredients may always be more ingredients that you're going to use. Now, for example, it's only a requirement for one egg to go into this crab cakes but the reason why I'm using two is because I also have an additional container of crab that I'm going to be to be mixing in because I need more than the serving for eight I'm going to make a little bit more so don't follow the instructions of what you see me do follow the instructions for the serving that's going to be listed in the description box one other thing the same person that actually records the video is not the person that actually puts up the recipe one person records another person puts up the recipe I put up the recipe because it's my personal recipe and I know it so sometimes you may not see the recipe go up at the same time as the video goes up but before that day is out you will see the recipe go up now I just wanted to explain that to you because a lot of people are writing saying well the ingredients that you used is different from the ingredients that's in the description block box I have explained that and and then they'll say, well, I don't see the I don't see the uh, ingredients that you're using or the recipe in the description box at the same time that they're looking at the video. Those are the reasonings behind that, because there's people that are working behind the scenes to make this come out in a way that it will be easy for you to do. Now, I'm going to go away, get everything ready, and I'll be right back. Now, I'm going to go ahead and do this from the table because I think that it's easier for me. So, I've already opened up my crab and what I'm going to do is to put it in a bowl. And you're going to need two bowls in order to do this. So, this is my lump crab. And one thing that you don't want to do is you don't want to do too much mixing on your crab. Okay? Because you don't want it to turn uh, into mush. You just want to mix just a little bit. And the good thing about this is when you get the crab like this, it comes with this top and then it comes with a, another top that you have to take it off. How cool is that? Because that's just for freshness. Okay? Now this one is the claw. Now I'm using the claw. You don't have to do that. I just used the claw because that was the only thing that I had in my refrigerator was the claw to go into this in order to make this right. So I just went ahead and added it. Now what you're going to need to add to this is this is about 15 uh, Ritz crackers. And the reason why I'm using Ritz crackers is because you get more of a buttery taste from the Ritz crackers. And of course you know butter and crab, it goes together. So I'm going to go ahead and mix this here. If you don't have this, this is sold on my site. You can pick up one. Okay, just a little mix and I'm probably going to mix up a little bit more. So I'm going to take this off and this looks like about three-fourths of a, of a cup full. And that's just a binding agent. So you really don't want to add, you know, just a whole lot of it. But you do want to add enough in order to get um, 
your crab cakes to bind together. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and add just a few more. Bring me up to one cup. Okay. And there that is. Okay. Now we're done with that part of it. Then I'm going to go ahead and to this, I'm going to add some parsley. And I'm going to add about a tablespoon of parsley to this recipe. Here it is right here. And like I told you, fresh parsley is better. Didn't have no fresh parsley. So I'm going with the dried parsley. And to that, I'm going to go ahead and add some scallions um, to that. And here it is. I'm just going to use the end. Okay, I'm chopping up just a little bit. Now, if you want to put some onion into this, you can go ahead and put some onion in. Whichever one you choose, just go ahead and do it. Now, once you mix this up, you're going to lightly separate that crab meat, okay? This is my multi-purpose knife back, Kuma. Making certain that I use it. Okay. Okay, got that all chopped up. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put just a little bit of that in there. Now, I'm going to put on my glove behind this. And I just want to loosen up that crab meat just a little bit, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and put my glove on. Now, you don't want to toss this heavy, okay? You just want to, those pieces of crab that were stuck together, I just want to loosen them up. And that's all I'm doing. That's it. Now, as you can see, I did not toss. I'm just loosening up the pieces that may have been still stuck together. Okay? Now, once I do that, I'm going to sit this off to the side. Okay? And now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to mix this. Now, in this bowl, I'm going to go ahead and put, I'm using two eggs, so I'm going to go ahead and put two eggs in here. And I'm going to mix it. When I get ready to add this to this, I'll put back on, leather, on some gloves. Okay. Okay. Now that I've mixed that together, I'm going to go ahead and add one teaspoon of the Worcestershire sauce. That smells so good. I'm going to add, I have to open up this whole bay, so let's see. Oh, this is a fresh box. So I'm going to go ahead and add. One teaspoon full of old bag. One, one tablespoon, a teaspoon, I'm sorry, worth the pep, the mustard. Okay. And I'm going to add like two heaping, maybe two and a half heaping tablespoons. I mean, two heaping paddles full, which really is going to work out to be like maybe a half a cup of mayo. Now, your ingredients are going to be different than my ingredients, as I've already stated. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to leave this right here for a minute, but I'm going to go ahead and stir this up together. I'm going to blend this up really, really good. Now, 
Now, the one thing about crab cakes is you do want to let this mixture sit in the refrigerator for about an hour to three hours, from one to three hours in the refrigerator. That's because when you first mix this, it looks really, really loose. And in order to get your crab cakes to actually, once you get ready to form them, to actually get them to stay firm like you need them to be, you need to allow this to rest in the refrigerator for that one to three hours. It'll make a difference in your crab cakes. Because when you're preparing crab cakes, a lot of times the crab meat will fall loose from the crab cake. And that's because you have not allowed to let that rest, have not allowed it to rest, you know, for a little while. So you want to make sure that you let it rest. Now, I'm going to go ahead and add... this put back on my gloves and I'm still not going to uh, blend it together real well say if I was doing like a uh, a salmon patty or something of that nature I would blend it a little bit more than I'm going to do right now I'm gonna put this other glove on I don't think that I'm gonna need it but I'm gonna go ahead and slip my fingers in it Mayo is a good binding agent as well, and we've added mayo into this, okay? That little bit of just blend in the process. So I'm going to bring my bowl back, and I'm going to go ahead and pour this in. It smells real good. Okay. Now I'm going to blend this up by just tossing. Okay. Now that's all the mixing that you need. And that old bay seasoning it's a real good complement to the crab meat okay now this is kind of loose this is really not bind together like it need to be so what I'm going to do is to go ahead and sit this in my refrigerator for one two three hours more than likely it's going to be one hour and then I'm going to bring you back now you want to cover this with a piece of plastic go now I have this covered in with a piece of plastic I'm gonna sit it off in my refrigerator for about one hour I'll bring bring you back put these patties together and go ahead and make these delicious crab cakes be right back okay now I'm at the stove and I've already taken this out of the refrigerator and I'm taking the plastic back now I'm gonna go ahead and make these up To put in my skillet and it does not take them long to fry up okay so I'm gonna go ahead and get them down I'm gonna allow them to fry on one side until they get like a golden brown and then I'm gonna flip them on the other side now inside of this skillet I have about three heaping tablespoons of cooking oil or we'll just put it down a fourth of a cup okay Now, whereas you would have eight, I should get a lot more than eight. Uh, eight, I should get 12, at least 12. Okay, so I'm just going to show you me frying up this first, you know, uh, these first four. And I have my patties a little bit healthier, especially this one. 
That one's very healthy. Press it down a little bit. So while I'm waiting on that, I'm going to get a paper plate and just go ahead and mash out my other uh, patties. But I'm going to let this cook. And when I get ready to flip it over, then I'll bring you right back and show you what it looks like. Okay? Be right back. Okay, now I'm back and I think it's about time for me to flip. So I'm going to go ahead and turn these over. And I always tilt my grease over. And that's so I don't get any splashes. I tilt the grease a little bit. Now, if you will notice, they stayed together. And the reason why they stayed together is because we took, by putting them in the refrigerator for an hour or so, you allowed them to firm up. So that helped them so you don't have it to just split op over on you, split open on you. Okay, now I'm going to allow these to go ahead and cook on this side. And you really only want to flip them one time. But I'm going to allow these to cook on these this side. And then I'll bring you back when I get ready to put in the next batch. Be right. Okay, now I'm back. And I'm going to go ahead and remove these. Because I believe that they are ready. Okay, now as you can see, they didn't fall apart. Now what I'm going to do is to go ahead and add the next batch. But I want to show you something over on the other side. You normally are supposed to, well, I like to drizzle them with a little bit of fresh. Let's see if I can pick this up, yeah. Okay. Instead of picking it up with my hand. I chose to pick them up with the spatula. So let's just see how that works for me. Because I don't have on gloves. Okay, so I have to put one more in the skillet. But before you get away, I want to show you something. I don't have any fresh lemon to put on this after they finish cooking. And it's always good to sprinkle just a little bit of fresh lemon down on it. The same way you were doing if you would be eating crab legs. But what I'm going to do is to make a little little light sauce to go on top of them just to put a little bit of the buttery lemony flavor in it. So I have one tablespoon of butter here and I'm going to add to that a fourth teaspoon of Old Bay seasoning and I'm going to add two caps of lemon juice. And I'm going to go ahead and melt that together and then when I come back and get ready to have my plate, I'm going to put that little sauce over the top of it because that will just add that little extra zip that you need to to make these crab cakes oh so good so i'm gonna go away and finish up and i'll be back when i get finished and getting ready to plate it up be right back okay so welcome back now i've completed my dinner and i in the last video i didn't show you i only showed you the bowl on the um spaghetti pasta salad so this is what i was having with it so i just went ahead and finished i'm doing uh crab cakes you know my crab cakes and this is the spaghetti pasta salad and of course, you're going to do it with your favorite beverage, which I have mine sitting here. And I have my plate already made. And remember, I told you uh, about the sauce that I like to put over it. And here it is right here. The only thing it is, is just the, see, that's just the butter on top. And in the bottom, it has the seasonings down in. I haven't stirred it for a minute. But if you try this, I think you're going to like it over your crab cakes. Because we like Old Bay. We love lemon juice on our crab cakes. And of course we love butter. So that's what Chris is, Chris is making for you today. This is all stemmed around the crab cakes. But for my dinner I'm having the crab cakes and the spaghetti pasta salad. And as always thank you for watching Chris Cook for you too. Oh I want to remind you uh, stay focused and loyalty is rewarded. See you later.
Bye.